So what's up, everybody? This is my live police box with my Raspberry Pi and my little battery pack with the USBs on it. I just take the box together and all that so I don't have to carry all the cords and stuff. And if anybody that owns a Raspberry Pi and have a screen with it, know that when you plug this sucker in, run your operating system and whatever it is that you do, when you shut the system off, the screen does not shut off. So you have to remember to unplug the plug or whatever. But um, what I did was I bought this USB battery pack, and it has a power button. So all I do is hit that power button, and everything starts to boot up. I like that. I think that's cool. I just built the box to make it a little more easier for carrying it around. I mean, the USB speaker separately is fine. Uh, the red wire I have is um, for headphones because I was listening to the headphones. Also, another thing, too, whatever city you live in, you can type in the police 10 codes. The city of Phoenix Police Department. So here's the code. So, like, if you hear somebody with a, you know, being pulled over with a 390, it means transport to detox facility. But if there's a 390D, that means drunk driver. And you hear that one a lot. You hear a lot of the 237... M and the 237Ds, dangerous drugs. M is for marijuana smoking, things like that need to know. You know, and then you get into some other ones like a, a 962 is an accident with injuries. So and when they talk codes, they talk like that. And, uh, you know, you, you want to know what's going on so you can easily find the 10 codes. And then I just uh, printed them out. Now you see the Windows operating system here, or you know the operating system on this window. <laughs> I'm just gonna type in, uh, hit the um, World app right there, and um, we're opening up the operating system website, and it's still booting up. And I'm just showing you guys how easy it is to get to the police station. Every single time you turn it on. So to me, it always says restore page. And that's fine for me because it takes me straight to where I want to go. And what you do from the beginning is, you know, um, you can get, go to the Google page. And um, type in wherever you live, live police. Like when I got this going, I typed in on Google, live Phoenix police. And I, the first one I picked was Broadcastify.com. So, you know, I tap on the play. I know it's hard to see. Tap on the play. And there it goes. The second start going. And you'll start hearing. There's advertising first. You'll have 30 seconds of advertising before it gets to the police. But I mean... After that, it doesn't bother you unless you stop and press play again. But, I mean, I think this is the coolest little feature. I love this little box. You know, again, you have to have the Raspbian operating system. Go to Google, type in live police in your city, and get to listening to the police right away. See? It's Saturday afternoon, so it's pretty light out, I'm sure. But listening to these on a listening to these on a Friday and a Saturday night sure can get interesting. You hear a lot of beer runs and stuff, and uh, yeah, it's kind of fun uh, if you're not doing anything. And when I'm done, just go ahead and stop. And go up here. Log out. And, you know, as usual, you'll shut your system down. 
hard to see this screen right now. I don't know what's going on. Let me just log out. And you'll see it all closed down. Do its normal. Black screen. I don't know why it always does that. We already asked it to shut down, but hey. Then you just wait for the... There goes the white screen. Wait for the green to stop. The green to me is it's still shutting down. And when I see nothing but red, we shut it off. And we say goodnight. Hey, raspberry pies are fun. Get yourself one.